It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time, often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers, and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues, other students, other former students, other alum around the world and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life. I suspect for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognise and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved, and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. Hello, my name is Professor Paul Aylin, uh, and I'm the Director of Postgraduate Talk Courses at the School of Public Health. And a very warm welcome to you. Well, what a year. I think for all of us it's been difficult, but uh, for you it makes your achievements that much greater for doing what you've done, enduring lockdowns, uh, online teaching and tutorials, uh, and social isolation to finish your projects and write up your theses in such challenging circumstances. I guess a very uh, minor positive of the pandemic is that uh, you no longer have to explain what an epidemiologist is. But uh, really, uh, uh, it really gives me so much pleasure to warmly congratulate you for all that you've done and it is a really great privilege to be able to read out each of your names in recognition of what you've achieved. Well done. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of the graduates from the School of Public Health. Faculty of Medicine, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, School of Public Health. Nuran Iwani Binti Abdul Aziz. Issa Ahmed. Nile Talal Guma Al Katati, Daniel Anderson, Kezia Asamoa, Louis Chavez Rodriguez, Sibu Cheng. Fran Conti Ramsden, Bethan Cracknell Daniels, Nina de Toro, Zainab Ersoy Gula, Ben Griffiths, Vin Ho. Anna Ionidu Nick Paul Giant Catherine Mingia Dana Capel Vasilios Carayorio Victor Lost 
Pin Li Li. Katrina Mackay. MSc Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning Prize for Best Overall Dissertation, Adam Marcus. Fionuala McDade. Tarana Medikanova. Atsunori Nanjo. Vasiliki Nicolodimu Aaron Patterson Anna Pengeli MSc Epidemiology Prize for Best Dissertation goes to Devlina Ray Stady Regmi Timothy Rowland Danielle Rose School of Public Health Prize for MSc Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning Mantej Sembi Tu Shahadian Farid Fatima Shahid Ipshita Shutrada Abigail Sykes Sonia Ningtang Anna Elizabeth Cornelia Maria Van Bohemen Nisa Seri Wayuni Minyi Wong The Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Epidemiology MSc Epidemiology Prize for Best Overall Performance Lucy Williams. Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for MSc Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning, MSc Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning Prize for Best Overall Dissertation, Thomas Wright. Victor Xi. Yiwen Tsu Imogen Younger Annie Yu Tian Hang Zhang Saolin Chang Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Public Health, School of Public Health. Shreya Agoramurthy. Noor al Rubai. Chung Li Bang. Galaya Barum Rona Barusha Eva Baxavanedi Kate Berg Charlotte Bexon And Chi Chai Ho Ping Chan Q 
Kira Chapman. Yashenka Drinda. Marilyn L. Asma. Leah Ellis. Zane Eltigani. Ava Emmanuel. Anyana Gupta. Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Masters in Public Health, Health Services and Systems, and Master of Public Health Prize, HSS Stream, for Best Overall Performance. Erin Haney. Laura Hindley. Carla Horn. Yasmin Ibrahim. Muriam Jawani. Anissa Kanzada. Sam Kervandi. Cheniyu Liang. Tseng Lili. Libby Lowry. Asga Mirsa Amran Muhammad Malila Muhammad Zainab Sane Musa Arida I Zainab Nagfi Rachel Nejad Fariha Noshina Almorna Nessa Katie Parker Fiona Percy Niza Ravi Master of Public Health Prize HSS Stream for Best Dissertation Beatrice Reyes Jay Sahota Islam Shobo Seifel Alexandra Isabel Gonzalves Bastos dos Santos Vidya Sasitharan Sheila Shumshodin Mariam Schwer Ariana Singer Nalia Solomons Sharon Shridhara Amna Syed Freya Tracy Rachel Viravali Carolina Vegara Faculty of Medicine Dean's Prize for Masters in Public Health Global Stream Master of Public Health Global Health Stream and Prize for Overall Performance Master of Public Health Prize, Global Health Stream for Best 
dissertation, Fiona Watkinson. Ching Wei Si. Hannah Wenzel. Helena Whitfield. Natalia Williams. Rebecca Wycliffe. Yi Han Young. Cherise Yearwood. Isabella Stazer. Minchin Tsang. Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Medicine School of Public Health. Sasha Imran Gulamali. Ben Holden. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, School of Public Health. Hossam Alakras. Hiba Awaad. Thomas Bond. Alex. Chi Yu Chen Matthew Dixon Alpha Funner Javiera Garrido Manriquez Priya Ghosh Kali Ham Sophie Hamilton Aaron Hamlet Mohammed Jawad Jacob John Vila Kahunen Raffaella Palladino Farzan Ramzan Robin Schaefer Thomas Smallwood Edward Waddingham Wei E. Wan James Webb And that concludes the graduates from the School of Public Health. I would like to offer my warm congratulations and thanks to you, the students of our Faculty of Medicine, for all the hard work and determination you've shown in reaching this most significant moment. The past year has put many challenges in your way, on top of the not inconsiderable matters of coursework, examinations, dissertations, theses and vivas. The commitment and integrity you have demonstrated through these taxing months makes your achievements all the more commendable. You will all have started your studies with us under dramatically different circumstances than those in which you finished. Collectively, you rose to the challenge of unanticipated online learning to complete your studies, even as the broader impacts of the pandemic will have been affecting your lives in many other ways. All of you will have felt impact on your friends and families, I know some of you suddenly found yourselves juggling childcare too, 
as schools and nurseries closed. And many of you have studied from home in cramped conditions or shared living spaces without the usual access to campus in the early days of lockdown. I also know many of you have supported the NHS and other organisations in directly combating the pandemic. I have huge respect for the fact you've made this year a success, despite all the changes and interruptions. You've gained a degree from one of the great universities in the world. The standard of this degree is exactly the same as in any other year. The only difference is it's been achieved during a global pandemic. You are a year of whom the entire faculty are incredibly proud. I'm sure you will now join with me in acknowledging the support of your teachers, supervisors, advisors, administrative and operations staff, and of course, the support network of all your fellow students. This has been a team effort, and I'm also proud of the way my staff and you come together to tackle our collective challenges head on. I want to acknowledge and thank your families, friends and colleagues who have supported you personally during this time and who are sharing in this occasion with you today, perhaps sadly at enforced distance due to the pandemic. Taking on postgraduate study is, at all times, a most significant and time-consuming endeavour, and those who have backed you in rising to that challenge are crucial contributors to the success we mark today. This graduation helps us celebrate you and mark the first steps you will take as a new generation of public health experts, surgeons, clinical and fundamental scientists, science professionals from across the widest range of fields and industries. But before you take those first steps, please pause a second to recognise just what you've achieved and know that you move forward as a continuing member of our Faculty of Medicine community. Please do stay in touch. So thank you for your time and whoever you may be marking your achievement today, enjoy your hard-earned celebrations. Well done. Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian alumnus of Imperial, who has spent a lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. Today's global economic realities, as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic, conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there is no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago 
a miner with a narrow technical focus. And gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation and your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up some wonderful opportunities, for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure, and just inputs. I wish you well, and God bless you. Year of 2020, I salute you, and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.